may be a lot more familiar with your local parliamentary representative than those in the East Africa Assembly. Well, our reporter Timothy Atieno is in Arusha, where the East African Community Assembly is holding its sessions. He now explains what exactly they do for you there. The process is ongoing. They read through reports, then discuss the hotel classification, then debate. I beg to submit adding their voices to issues that affect the over 140 million residents of the East African community. But it appears little is known about them, and even less is known of how they get to be regional ambassadors representing you in the region's august house. In total, there are about 52 members of the East Africa Legislative Assembly. But if you exclude the ex-official members who include all the five cabinet secretaries for the East Africa community, the CTC who acts as the Attorney General for the community, as well as the community's secretary, then you're left with 45 duly elected individuals. But have you ever wondered how do these 45 members make their way to this assembly? The selection process is enshrined in the Treaty for the Establishment of the East African Community under Section 50 that allows for each member state to have a total of nine representatives at the Regional Assembly. But aside from that law binding all states to a particular procedure, each country has the leeway for deciding on their own how the nine will be selected. So when the time comes, a circular is issued those who are interested to contest through the political parties, they have the political parties route. Invitations for uh, applicants who want to become members of IALA uh, would then apply to parliament, but indicate which political party they would like their application to be considered from. They are elected from interest groups. Uh, there is a representative for the youth for women, for people with the disabilities. Abdullah Mwinyi, representing Tanzania, is the son of the nation's second president, Ali Hassan Mwinyi, and has been a legislator here for nine years. The allegations, the specific standing committees. He will be winding up his term in June next year when this assembly's tenure comes to an end. Under the rules of the treaty, each member is only allowed a maximum of two terms, each five years long. Mwinyi says, for him, getting to the floor of this parliament is a greater responsibility than that of being a representative of his nation. But it's not just about bringing bills. It is uh, more about participating and making uh, a contribution towards uniting a people that should have been united in the first place. And... Uh his Kenyan counterpart, Abu Bakar Zain, who is serving his first term, couldn't agree more. And I hope history will remember this house with kindness for many other things, but, but for also this one little thing. The man who just this past week was responsible for presenting a motion to have the assembly adapt Swahili as an official language says that getting to the regional assembly requires one to understand the issues affecting East Africans as well as ensure that the party that nominates you to this house shares similar ideals as those of East Africans. Because at this level we are also talking about geopolitics and um, this is a, a wider perspective. And with the members here collectively passing over 20 bills during the lifetime of the third assembly, nearly 90% of those who have been sitting on these seats will be exiting the regional stage to leave room for the next generation of leaders to start the union into its next political dispensation. Timothy Otieno, KTN News in Arusha, Tanzania.